Hey my friends, welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wings. So in this video, I'm coming to you with my Timo haul um, that I purchased myself. And so um, I have quite a few things, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show everything on one video. I don't want to make this video too, too long, so I'll probably do a two part two. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, uh, Timo is a global company that um, has become very popular and has a ton i mean a ton of items like i don't even have to say i know most of you know about timu but the list is just super long of all the items they sell from uh electric gadgets toys pet um items beauty items <clears throat> candles crafty items it's just enormous the amount of things that they sell kitchen items home good items it's just the list goes on and on and on and so i did uh purchase some crafty items i did purchase um it's a mixture of different things that i purchased um i will put the description uh for all these items down below i'm also going to put my discount code that i was given by my contact person in Timu, who we are still collaborating. Um, so I'll put that also down below. Take advantage, you get 30% off um, for first buyers. Um, and so all of the items will be linked once you go into that link that I'm gonna put on the description box below, plus you get 30% off. And so you can't go wrong, guys. The prices are amazing on Timu. So I did make a little list of the things that I purchased, I hope that I got everything because I did this online. So I went online and just wanted to make sure that I put all the prices so that I can have all the prices ready for you guys. But I'm hoping that I didn't leave anything else. So hopefully that list is correct. Um, so I am going to start with this here. So this is a uh, pen holder. I actually wanted it in... Um, this is the black one. It's still transparent, but it's the black one. I actually wanted the clear one or the lighter one, the white one, but they didn't have them. So I settled for this one here. And so what I'm trying to do is, oh, this one is broken. I mean, it's not going to take away from it, but it has a little hole. I love Timo, but I really don't like the way they pack up things sometimes when they put everything in bags because some of the things do get damaged. So I'm hoping that they listen to the customers and, uh, you know, try to get a better way of packing things. When they're like softer things that are not going to get damaged, it's fine. But when they're like things that are like this that get thrown because, you know, the mail, people don't always, delivery people don't always worry about people's packages they just throw them around anyway i could still definitely use it um so uh i wanted to see if i could like take out of my packages i have some like markers and things that um i want to use more but i keep them like this i have these i have markers like these they're still in the boxes you know and i'm trying to find a space for them where I can just pull them out and use them. And so this was my idea for this. So I did purchase more than one. Because I want to try to... I also have color pencils. That I don't know if I want to do that with the color pencils. I really don't use color pencils that much. But I can also do that. But these are, this is too much. Those are 72. Um, I do have... Like these over here, which I have them in the corner there. These are like my ink pens from Jane Davenport. Which I would like to put them like that, you know, where I could just grab them. And just organize all my pens and pencils and things like that. If I can see these, I have them right here. These are the liners. And this is just like a little something that I made. But I don't want them scattered everywhere. I want to keep them all in one area. So this is my idea for this. So I'm hoping that this works. So I did order four. And so my thought behind this was that I can either glue them together permanently like this. And do that. But, or, 
just two at a time because I can also do something like this but that's not going to make too much sense but yeah I'll figure it out so I have four of those and those were uh, let's see how much they are I have to go through my list unfortunately I'm sorry uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I know I did okay 88 cents no sorry that's not 88 cents that's 219 so I'm going to cross them off as I go because I don't want to um, keep looking in the same area okay so these were 219 each so then with that, um, I chose uh, the cup that is supposed to be a set, but of course they had the cup in the transparent color and they didn't have it in that color, so I just took this color. So I bought two of these and these were 88 cents. So I'm going to try to organize as much as I could with these and then whatever's left over I guess I'll put here but I like that these are smaller and they take less space yeah, so we'll see how that works out and this to the side here let me take these out here okay so I also decided to get two of these um I've seen a lot of the ladies order these and I definitely need one of these because I do have one currently in my tub but it's getting old and dingy, so um, my hair is getting long, and the longer it gets, the more my hair falls out. So yeah, this is great. So I ordered two of these. This was this was fairly affordable. Um, let's see the drain. That's sixty nine cents. That's not bad at all. It's really nice rubber so I purchased two of these and I will link all of these items down below um, so you can just click on it and it will take you directly to that item if you're interested I make sure that I did every single end descript described it as well to make it easier for you to um, get to it if you're interested so then I found let's see what am I gonna do here this right here which I'm sure you guys have seen already um, so this is for the kitchen I mean I guess you can wear you can use it wherever but I want it for the kitchen um, so that I can put my bags on there and so that I can um, use it for food like for you know when you're cutting onions and things like that and like um peeling potatoes you put everything in there and then you wrap it up and you throw it out but i already do that i just don't have this gadget to make it easier for me but let me just give you an example so i get these bags from amazon <clears throat> and i get them by bulk because as you know in New York, um, they're not giving too many plastic bags out anymore. So I need my plastic bags because I do need to put the garbage in there. So this is more or less the idea. So you're going to put your handles on here. You're going to let the bag dangle. And you're going to, of course, clip this in a door, um, in a cabinet door on the bottom of your sink or next to your sink, wherever it's comfortable for you. So that's pretty much it guys that's awesome this is pretty affordable too let's see what that is that is i think it's better just to write okay so that's 269 i think it's better just to write the price on the item the next time i'll probably do that yeah so this is 269 not bad at all I'm sure i'm gonna make a, i'm gonna give a lot of use to that Um, next I have uh, these two items here so this is 
Um, in one of my other Timu hauls, I did purchase one of these with the other ones. And I thought this was going to be a larger size, of course. I always get bamboozled with these. Um, it's just like a photo album. Or you can use it to store, of course, die cuts and ephemera and things like this. But I actually thought that this was going to be larger. But, of course, it's small. Um, and I did purchase two different ones of these. Um, it brings a lot of pages though. And the opening is on the top. I mean, I guess this is still really good for ephemera, but you know what? I already have so much story for ephemera, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for, but um, I'll figure it out. If not, I'll just gift it. But this is cute. Very cute. You can actually use it for what it's intended for, for pictures, the 4 by 6 pictures which maybe I'll use it for that, but I don't know, I'll see. So this was uh, $3.98. I think it's pricey, but $3.98. And it says large capacity pockets. The pockets are not that large. I mean, compared to the other ones, they're wider, but they're not that large. But yeah, got that. I'm going to keep it in here so it won't get dirty. I think I'm done with these type of ordering these type of books. I really don't need much more. I'm watching this video. Okay, so that's that. And again, that was $3.98. Then I have this here. This is um something for scrapbooking. And I also wanted to mention, guys, I forgot, I do have my Timu nails on. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I'm sure you did. But there goes my Timu nails. And they look pretty nice. They're kind of like the same size as my natural nails. So, But I just like them because, you know, I don't have to fuss with my own nails. I could just put them on and keep them moving. And I like the designs. They're so pretty. So yeah, these are my Timu nails, um, and I'll link the the description and I'll link in the description box below the uh, nail Timu haul that I made, which I ordered a ton of nails from Timu. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'm gonna link it down below. And then I also have my Timu ring on. See that? So this one over here is not from Timu. The top one, but these two are, and they're so pretty. So I just combined it with my one of my other rings so look how pretty they are and so I have extra of these because I did order two and my daughter just did with the butterfly part of it but um I just had this one here and I thought it goes good together so yeah so I have my Timu um, rings on and my Timu nails I'm all Timu out today so okay let's get back to this here so this is for scrapbooking I like this envelope. Look at how cute. It has a little... Okay. Maybe I could save that. I don't think I can. It's so stuck there. Yeah, it's stuck. Let me see how much this is. Um, okay, so this is $1.48. And this is the vintage journal paper. So my next um haul, which is a sponsored one, I did try to order more crafty things. Oh, this is nice. Because I do want to try to get into scrapbooking a little bit more. This is nice. Look at that. I like that. It's just paper. It's like thin craft paper. But the design is really pretty. I like this one with the green. Of course, you know that we can use these fork journals and tags and other things like that. Very nice. That's very nice. 148. Not bad. I think that's just, this is the only like crafty thing I ordered. No. I'm lying. Maybe I ordered like two more things, but yeah. So that's 148. It just uh, let me just cross that out. 
So then I have these here. These are like drainers, strainers, I'm sorry, not drainers, strainers. Um, so I bought one this size and I bought the large one. Let me just cut this. Because these look like really good quality. So I needed these like this. I don't need like a super small one. This one is fine. So I bought those two. And how much are those? Okay, so the large one was $249. $248, sorry. This one was $248. And this one was $168. So they do have um, other sizes in between. Like they have the smaller ones. And then they have the one that follows uh, after this. But I decided to take these two. Those are nice. Very nice. So that was for the large one, two forty-eight, and for the small one, one sixty-eight. <clears throat> so then I decided to order um, these cute little plates. I think this it comes with the rack or the not the rack, sorry, the container to hold them. Take them off their wrappers. I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, so I'm back. So here are the little plates that come in this. I'm supposed to be able to put them in the little rack here. I hope they all fit. I don't know if they all fit. Oh, maybe I ordered too much. Yeah, I ordered too much. I thought I saw two of each, but anyway. So these are little plates that you can use for snacks. So. I really don't have plates. Oh, they do fit. Beautiful. I really don't have plates that are small that you can just um, grab for, like if you want to cut a piece of cake or a piece of pie or something, you could just put it on there. So I thought these were perfect. Like for my daughter, when she wants to grab cookies, I don't like her putting, throwing crumbs everywhere, so I tell her, get a plate. So these are perfect for that. And it has a little holder. And of course, I had to pay for um, each plate. And the holder, um, so for each plate, not expensive at all, um, 78 cents. So I spent 78 cents for each plate, but it didn't bother me because I wanted the set. So, and I think these are so cute. They're really durable, the plastic. Definitely good for dishwashers, dishwasher safe, it looks like. Let me see. Yep. It says it there too. You can microwave as well. Yeah. So dishwasher safe, microwavable. They're pretty small. They don't take a lot of space. And they're super cute. I love it. So I purchased that. So the rack was... The rack is only 79 cents. And then you're going to pay 78 cents for each plate. Which is a steal to me guys and I think it's so adorable you just put it on top of your counter and that's it so I purchased that what else do I have? Um, so now something a little different I purchased this here. I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is um let me just cross off that uh so this is the Heatless curl rod. So, of course, I've seen tons of uh, shorts and uh, YouTube videos and Instagram um, stories and stuff like that with this um, rod. So, my hair is growing. And I don't really like to use a lot of heat tools on my hair. <clears throat> And I already normally just, I have normally curly hair, but um, I don't always keep it curly. And so I do use the uh, straightener, the hot, I guess you call uh, it like straightener. And so when I wash my hair, I just put serum on it and I just like uh, take it with my hair divided and just curl it with my fingers so that I don't like pin straight hair either. 
So, because if I don't do that, my hair will be just totally curly. But when I do that, it just maintains like a certain curl. And so I don't really like um, use like blowers or stuff like that. But I do use this, the hair straightener. That's what they call it, the hair straightener for some parts of my hair. But I thought that I would probably, instead of doing it with my finger, I could probably use this to see how the curls come out. Because I've seen some of the girls that have longer hair when they do this. Their curls are so pretty, naturally pretty. And so I don't want my hair like super curly. <clears throat> but I don't want it like super straight either. And normally my hair is really pretty. You can see the picture that I have on my YouTube channel. That was when I had my hair small. And I had like the bob look. And it was really curly. But at that point, that's what I wanted. So this comes with the two um, little scrunchies. Oh, look how cute. It has like two little curls. I'm going to try it and see. I mean, I feel like this could be annoying to sleep with because I think some of them sleep with it. So I don't know if I want to sleep with this, but maybe you put it over your head where it doesn't like, I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. And then it comes with this. And this was, let's see, $2.60, $2.60. And then over here, it shows how you can put it. Okay, so you're supposed to put it all the way from the top. See, like that. And then bring it down all the way to your hair. So we'll see. My hair is not that long. My hair is more like um, below my... It goes down be, um, so after my shoulders. So kind of like where the bra, bra strap is, around there. It's getting long. But I don't know, I'm undecided. Some says I like short hair, some says I like longer hair. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hair anymore. But anyway, yeah, I purchased that for that. I hope that it works. I hope that it doesn't annoy me. <laughs> so, I have to try it out and see, right? What else do I have? Okay, so then I purchased this here. So I have um, some back issues. I've had them for many years. Um, I, you know, and it radiates to my shoulders and my neck sometimes. Sometimes I, you know, I could be for months and be fine. But then there's days that it just affects me because I don't have really good posture to begin with. So I decided to buy this because I'm hearing a lot about this helps your neck, this helps you relax. So I purchased this here. I don't know how good it is. I'm hoping that it helps. Um, this is the neck shoulder relaxer. And you're supposed to put your neck right here and let your neck relax. It's supposed to like um, stretch out a little bit of your neck and just help it relax and make it feel better. So this was only $5.84, which I've seen this gadget on Amazon and other places for much, much more. And so, you know, I'm going to try it because it's only almost $6, please. It is worth me not being in pain or being... Um, and discomfort sometimes so I'm gonna try that and I got the blue one so again this was 584 and it's called the neck shoulder relaxer I'm gonna keep it in here so it doesn't get dirty so hoping that works um let's see what else okay so I'm done with that so here I had some slippers um, I actually wanted um, these slippers that are like mules, and they're so pretty, but they've been out of stock. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. They have, I don't know if it's faux, um, faux leather, but like suede-ish. And they have like a little buckle on the side, and I've been wanting to get those. And every time I try to get them, they're, either they don't have my size or they're out of stock. But anyway, I found these. Uh, these slippers were... Uh, slippers were $5.79. So I purchased one for my son. I purchased one for my husband, which he already has them on. And you see how big these are. These are a size 12. So I purchased both of them size 12 for my husband and my son because my son, my um, husband is a size 11. But I always like to get these like a size bigger. But these are so nice. So these are for my son. And my husband likes them. He said they're very comfortable and they're warm. Because we live in New York. And as you know, we live in an apartment. And sometimes apartments can be chilly. So, so 
So I purchased those for my son, and my husband got the same exact ones. And then I purchased these for my daughter. Plus, I got her the girly color. Look how cute those are. Super cute. They have, again, they have like that foam. So I got her the pink ones. I'm going to give her these as soon as I'm done. <clears throat> and then for myself, I was trying to get the black ones, but of course they didn't have the black ones. But I don't really, I'm not fussy. I just took like the tan ones. And I purchased these in a nine. I'm an eight, eight and a half. But when it comes to slip-ons, any type of slip-ons for the summer stuff, I always get them like a half size larger. Because I don't like my, my foot to stick out, so. Yeah, so. Can't wait to try these on and see. But they feel comfortable already. They feel like nice and. See, they have like the fairy, the furry part there. Yeah, so I got mine in this color, which is a nice color too. So. And those, again, were... $5.79. So I purchased four of these. And then I'm going to show these, this, and then I'm going to cut the video because it's getting a little longer and I still have a few more things to show you. So I purchased this um, Chinese painting watercolor. It's called Marie's. But these I've seen in, um, the tubes are really small though. I've seen in um, Amazon for a lot more. These were $5.98, and I just want to try them. So I do have a palette like this, where I'm going to put them in. And yeah, I'm going to try those and see. Because I'm hearing that these are good, but I don't know. We'll try them, right? So $5.98, and it's called Marie's Chinese Style Paints purchased that and then I found these but I actually <laughs> I thought that these were much bigger but they're super cute so these are like little painting um, palettes but I just realized that they're not even for regular painting or like for crafts they're actually for nails and I was like oh my god <laughs> I always do that I always buy stuff that I'm not supposed to buy but you know, the things that I meant for nails, we can use for crafts. So, I'm hoping that they work. So, these are like shimmer, solid, watercolor metallics. And these little ones, they all cost $3.09. This one, I think, was a little bit more. I just got to see. Okay, so this. So, these were three, $3.09. And this one was but these bring 12. How do these bring 12? These are so small. Anyway, we'll, we'll open it. So let's see how these are. And this one is the metallic one. This is super cute. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. So they come in a little plastic container. Let's see. Oh, I like that. And look how nice these colors are. So I think I chose these because I really like like the kind of like the um like the burgundy. These colors go really pretty together. That's super cute. I like the container. I can just leave it like that. And I'll just put the cut this out and put it at the bottom. That's nice. So this one is the metallic one. And this this one is the flower one. You can definitely use those for your crafts. Definitely. A lot of these um a lot of the paints for your nails is exactly the same thing. It's just acrylic paint and things like that. So this is the flower one. That's pretty. to try these out that's pretty a 
one, and this one is the galaxy one, which I'm sure is going to have some blues in there. <clears throat> these are great for traveling too, like if you're going to go away, these are actually perfect for traveling. They're really small. You keep this, um, the cardboard too. Look how pretty these colors are. Oh, oh I love these. So look at these colors. Look at that blue. That's gorgeous. And this one too over here. Very pretty. So this one is the Galaxy one. And again, these were each three or nine. So there's a metallic, the Galaxy, the flower. I think there were two more other ones. But I chose these. I think there were two more other ones. There was one that was really, really bright, and I didn't want that one because it was too bright. And then this one here is actually um, for crafts. Yeah. And this one is called the DD Praise Retro Watercolor Palette. DD Praise Retro Watercolor Palette. <clears throat> Same size. Oh, I like this one. And this one says ocean color, 12 colors, ocean color, glittery watercolor. See, that's glittery, but okay. Let's see. Why is it glittery? I don't see glittery watercolor. Oh, but I love these colors. Look how pretty those colors are. They're neutral. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like those. I hope they are nice when I wet them. That is so pretty, and these are pretty good for five seventy nine. What do you think? These are pretty, right? Very nice. So you know what? Overall, I'm really happy because when I read in the title when I was trying to get the prices, it said for now. I was like, oh no, those are for nails. But I'm very happy with that. So yeah. So these. With 309 and this one was 579 and the Marie's Chinese style paint was 598 so overall I am happy with this um, and I think that's gonna be it for now guys um, I do have another bag here filled with things so um, I don't want to make this video too long so I'm gonna come back with the second part of my Timu haul so thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you come back for the next video and I will see you soon. Bye.